Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-2467. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. Foundation satellites are to constantly track the movement of SCP-2467 with analysts and programs predicting the movements of the object, with plants in the Meteorological Bureau to divert traffic from areas likely to be visited by SCP-2467. In addition, the SCPS Sunderland, a fully armed Legend class cutter, will be dispatched to patrol areas where SCP-2467 is likely to come in contact with other vessels. SCPS Sunderland is to be equipped with a minimum of two rigid-bottomed motor lifeboats to aid in rescue of survivors of encounters with SCP-2467, along with high-impact naval weaponry to aid in discouraging the object from attacking civilian, merchant, and military vessels. Absolutely no aircraft is to be deployed in the area of SCP-2467's area of operation due to the severe weather phenomena associated with it. Where possible, waste dumped by SCP-2467 is to be collected by Foundation watercraft and taken to the nearest Foundation research site for study. A disinformation campaign is to be run following a boarding and or abduction event. Typical explanations to be provided include user error, sinking via rough seas or rogue waves, mutiny and pirate encounters. Amnestics are to be administered to any and all survivors and witnesses of SCP-2467 and its activities. Description SCP-2467 is a large ocean-going ship approximately 300 meters in length and 45 meters in width bearing the nameplate DV Toluca. Research personnel have been unable to find any record of a ship matching the Toluca's description that has been registered to any port in the last 138 years. Of note is that components of SCP-2467 come from a wide variety of other sea craft, including some such as the Flying Bridge dating back to at least the 1700s, along with various naval weapons which operate autonomously. It primarily travels in deep water and searches for other vessels in an effort to abduct crew and appropriate cargo before leaving the vessel adrift. Weather patterns in a 5km radius of SCP-2467 consistently display adverse and at times violent conditions regardless of and often in direct contrast to the given ocean state at the time. Observation has shown near constant moderate rainstorms and thick fog in the area surrounding SCP-2467 accompanied by moderate to strong winds and slightly rough waters. In addition to the rain, wind and fog detailed above, Winds have been known to reach speeds of over 125 km per hour, and waves reaching an average peak height of 25 meters when attempting to disable another ship. It should be noted that there are outliers, such as a 42 meter high wave recorded on February 20, 1958. Whirlpools of varying severity have been also spotted appearing in the bow wake of SCP-2467 on multiple occasions. SCP-2467 is operated by a maintenance crew corresponding to approximately 75 individuals abducted from other vessels encountered by the object. Observance has shown that those on board SCP-2467 tend to adapt to the stress of their abduction and behave in a manner described as cheerful within a short time frame following abduction. This is believed to be a form of mind-affecting anomaly, as shown by any person coming into contact or close proximity with SCP-2467 for an extended period of time, 3-10 to 10 days depending on the individual, coming to believe that SCP-2467 is correct in its actions and will gain a strong desire or obsession towards aiding it, however possible. Gradually, this causes a degenerative condition in the brain of the person, to the point where the individual loses any semblance of independent thought at approximately four to five months after initial contact. Roughly every 40 days, SCP-2467 dumps a large amount of waste bundled into a net out of a rear port in the ship. Waste materials tend to be composed of damaged or worn ship components and tools, along with food scraps, empty bottles, clothing, scrap metal, fuel, waste, and human cadavers. Addendum 2467-01 Following Incident 2467-12, 
Foundation personnel recovering waste materials deposited by SCP-2467 are to work in teams of six, with a minimum of two personnel to monitor the water for approaching sharks or other marine carnivores. Addendum 2467-02 Known vessels currently incorporated into SCP-2467 Vessel name, Toluca Description, 16th century ship of the line Date reported missing or recovered, 2710-1745 Explanation of disappearance Commandeered and presumably sunk by pirates Parts integrated into SCP-2467 Flying bridge, 20 cannons Vessel name, SV Seabird. Description, Merchant Brig. Date reported missing or recovered, 0802-1750. Explanation of disappearance, crew taken by pirates. Parts integrated into SCP-2467, anchor and various timbers. Vessel name, HMS Hiru. Description, 22 gun, privateer brig. Date reported missing or recovered, 1404-1806. Explanation of disappearance, Lost at sea. Parts integrated into SCP-2467. Seven cannons. Vessel name, HMS Juno. Description, 26-gun frigate. Date reported missing or recovered, 1203-1880. Explanation of disappearance, sunk by a rogue wave. Parts integrated into SCP-2467. Three cannons and sails. Vessel name, SS Warada. Description, 150 meter steamship. Date reported missing or recovered, 26 7, 1909. Explanation of disappearance, sunk in a storm. Parts integrated into SCP-2467, two masts and hull. Vessel name, U-52. Description, German armed submarine. Date reported missing or recovered, 2002, 1940. Explanation of disappearance, destroyed in a naval minefield. Parts integrated into SCP-2467, hull sections and torpedoes. Vessel name, Roma. Description, Italian battleship. Date reported missing or recovered, 2009, 1943. Explanation of disappearance, sunk in naval battle. Parts integrated into SCP-2467, hull sections, bridge and structural components, and various guns. Vessel name, MS Munchen. Description, Lash Carrier. Date reported missing or recovered, 1912, 1958. Explanation of disappearance, sunk by a rogue wave. Parts integrated into SCP-2467, hull sections and cranes. Vessel name, MV Derbyshire. Description, Oil Carrier. Date reported missing or recovered, 0909, 1980. Explanation of disappearance, sunk in a typhoon. Parts integrated into SCP-2467, Hull. Vessel name, SS Admiral Nikimov. Description, Ocean Liner. Date reported missing or recovered, 2002, 1989. Explanation of disappearance, collided with another vessel. Parts integrated into SCP-2467, bow and funnels. Vessel name, FV Andrea Gale. Description, Fishing Vessel. Date reported missing or recovered, 2810, 1991. Explanation of disappearance, sunk in 1991 hurricane. Parts integrated into SCP-2467, hull sections. Vessel name, USS Eldridge. Description, Cannon Class Destroyer. Date reported missing or recovered, 11-11-1999. Explanation for disappearance, sold for scrap. Parts integrated into SCP-2467, hull sections, three MK-20 50 caliber guns, two 40mm MK-1 anti-aircraft guns, eight 20mm MK-4 anti-aircraft cannons, and three 530mm torpedo tubes. Vessel name, CAS-2. Description, 9m yacht. Date reported missing or recovered, 1804-2007. Explanation of disappearance, pilot error. Parts integrated into SCP-2467, glass. Vessel name, Sakapis P-77 Description Guided Missile Destroyer Date reported missing or recovered 2409-2011 Explanation of disappearance Decommissioned Parts integrated into SCP-2467 76mm gun 40mm gun 
four MM-38 Exocet launchers and hull sections. Addendum 2467-03. Recent observation has shown a hull section identified as having originated on the SS Edmund Fitzgerald, which disappeared on Lake Superior on November 10th, 1975. Investigation into how SCP-2467 reached the Edmund Fitzgerald, despite its location in an inland lake, is ongoing. Clearance Level 2467-3 Document 2467-1 Document 2467-1 In an effort to better understand SCP-2467, particularly effects and any notable events occurring on board the vessel, for D-Class personnel trained in sailing, T-2467-01-4 were provided with a small 9-meter yacht launched from the SCPS Sunderland and given orders to sail north with the SCPS Sunderland, tailing them at a distance of 7 kilometers with the intention of them being boarded and abducted by SCP-2467 to observe the activities of SCP-2467 and its effects on those on board. Each D-Class was fitted with a helmet-mounted waterproof video camera equipped with a flotation device and an external battery pack, rendering it capable of recording uninterrupted for up to three months. Footage captured was streamed directly to the SCPS Sunderland's observational department. Note, due to the length of this test, extraneous and inconsequential events and details have been redacted for brevity. 12-10-2000-10.25 a.m. SCPS Joyita is successfully launched from the Sunderland and proceeds north. Progress in Test 2467-1 continues without incident or notable activity for five days. 1710-2000 0229 AM Both the SCPS Joyita and SCPS Sunderland make visual contact with SCP-2467 to the northwest. 231 AM Strong westerly storm is manifested by SCP-2467. Waves of an average 4.5 to 6.0 meters and wind speeds of approximately 55 kilometers per hour are recorded. Fog rolls in, reducing visibility to roughly 15 meters. SCP-2467 sounds its foghorn, and D-Class cameras show blue lights at the location of the vessel. D-2467-4 deploys fenders. 0239 AM SCP-2467 approaches the SCPS Joyita. Upon sight of SCP-2467's weaponry, D-2467-1 turns the vessel 180 degrees and attempts to retreat from SCP-2467. 0240 AM, SCPS Joyita ordered to turn and approach SCP-2467. D-2467-01 fails to comply. 0240 AM, SCP-2467 fires harpoons at SCPS Joyita, fatally injuring D-2467-2 and drawing the Joyita to its hull. A boarding party consisting of five crew boards the Joyita and attempts to abduct the surviving D-Class personnel, resulting in the termination of D-2467-1, 4, and one unidentified male from the boarding party. 0248 AM D-2467-3 boards SCP-2467, is handed a chisel by an unidentified crew member, and told to scrape rust from some panels under threat of physical violence. D-2467-3 complies. 0310 AM, SCPS Sunderland successfully recovers the SCPS Joyita with no parts aside from supplies taken by SCP-2467 leading Foundation personnel to believe it had recently boarded and cannibalized parts from another, as yet unknown, vessel. Note, as of the events of the 1710-2000, all recorded events are entirely documented by D-2467-3's camera. 2310-2000, pm Video feed shows D-2467-3 is displaying signs of distress and pushing a trolley loaded with basic rations to crew members of SCP-2467. All crew, with the exception of D-2467-3, are audibly humming an unidentified tune in unison. 30-10-2000 11-23pm Video feed shows D-2467-3 still displaying signs of distress, hauling in a fishing net with three other crew members. 
an as yet unheard voice hereby referred to as SCP-2467-1, seeming to come from the flying bridge, orders crew member Worthington to be brought to the flying bridge. Four crew members apprehended a young male crew member and escort him to the flying bridge, which has the doors open. Door to the flying bridge closes after Worthington is deposited inside. Vocalizations of distress produced from the flying bridge are audible for the following seven days. 2111, 2000, 0655 AM. Video feed shows D-2467-3 swabbing the port side deck, showing lower levels of distress. A lighthouse on the coast of comes into view, seemingly prompting SCP-2467 to adjust its course and head into more open waters. 3011, 2000, 1247 AM. Video feed shows that D-2467-3 is still showing distress, but is no longer requiring guidance by other crew in undertaking tasks on the ship. D-2467-3 is securing hatches on the deck when a crew member looks to the starboard bow, spotting a fishing ship identified as the Grendel. Entire crew, save for D-2467-3, gather on the deck, equipped with grappling lines and ladders as SCP-2467 is seen to produce a very large plume of what appears to be black smoke from one of its funnels. Smoke enters the cloud cover above, producing a meteorological reaction. Heavy rain, waves up to 7 meters in height, and wind reaching 70 kilometers per hour are recorded. Crew of the Grendel seem to request assistance from SCP-2467. Both crews work together to secure the Grendel to SCP-2467, followed by the six crew members of the Grendel being coerced onto SCP-2467 under the pretense of weathering the storm. 0115 PM a crew member belonging to SCP-2467 is seen to produce a diving knife and fatally assault the captain of the Grendel. Remaining crew members are escorted down into a lower deck, as D-2467-3 and three other SCP-2467 crew descend a ladder onto the Grendel and salvage food, water, fuel, timbers, and a segment of the hull, requiring a crane to lift onto SCP-2467's deck. 9-12 2000 03:22 pm video feed shows that d 2467 3 is showing minimal signs of distress laughing at an anecdote told by one of scp 2467's crew as she sweeps the deck d 2467 3 then hands her broom to another crew member and approaches a captive crew member of the grendel and addresses them as they work leading to brief dialogue transcript is as follows D-2467-3. You should jump off now before it changes you. There's a big ship following. They might help you. Redacted name. What? What do you mean? D-2467-3. The song gets in your head. Makes you happy. Makes it so you want to stay. Redacted name. Okay. Okay. I'll jump. But you come with me. We can both escape. 0326 PM. D-2467-3 disregards and returns to work. Note. Was recovered by the SCPS Sunderland approximately 20 minutes later and held for examination for a period of six weeks before being administered amnestics and returned to their family. 1512-2000-0613 p.m. Video feed shows that D-2467-3 no longer displays any signs of distress and now hums with the crew of SCP-2467. 1812-2008-05 AM SCP-2467-01 orders Smith and Chi to report to the Refuse Center. Video feed shows two heavily malnourished men, crew members known to be present prior to the abduction of D-2467-3, enter a lower deck. They are no longer seen at any point on D-2467-3's video feed, or during observation by the SCPS Sunderland. 2612-2011-19 AM SCP-2467-1 is heard ordering the crew to deliver D-2467-3 to the flying bridge. Video feed confirms D-2467-3 is once again displaying severe distress and attempting to exit SCP-2467 with haste. 
crew of SCP-2467 show coordinated teamwork in D-2467-3's capture, apprehending her 3 minutes and 52 seconds after SCP-2467-1 was hurt. Crew escorts D-2467-3 to the flying bridge, with the video feed showing the door swinging open autonomously. Interior of the flying bridge is obscured by an intense blue-green light and seems to cause increasing amounts of static and tracking errors as D-2467-3 approaches the doorway. Video feed cuts out as D-2467-3 is thrown bodily into the doorway at 11.23 p.m. 1804-2000-1219 p.m. Video feed resumes showing total darkness until the camera abruptly emerges into a room evidently out of a pipe on top of a pile of refuse to be dumped off of SCP-2467. Contents of refuse bin included scrap metal, empty oxygen tanks, broken tools, severed body parts, and a torn D-Class jumpsuit, stained with blood and other unidentified fluids. The camera lens also appears to be coated in the same materials, staining the D-Class jumpsuit. Sounds of distress echo down the pipe, consistent with D-2467-3's voice, albeit heavily distorted. 12.29 p.m. SCP-2467 crew member enters the room and manually places waste products into a fishing net, ties said fishing net closed, and pushes the net and its contents into a port in the floor. Video feed shows port leads to an opening in the stern of SCP-2467 and then the water. Note. Waste net and camera were recovered by the SCPS Sunderland at 12.45 p.m. Closing Statement Following review of the footage gathered and DNA testing of the human remains recovered from SCP-2467, it was discovered that human remains contained within the waste collected did not belong to D-2467-3. Following this discovery, orders were given to collect any and all waste products dumped by SCP-2467 in an effort to determine how long it would take for D-2467-3 or her remains to be dumped by SCP-2467. Tooth, hair, and isolated skin fragments determined to belong to D-2467-3 were recovered on 2.05.20 at 12.47 a.m. Research concluded that an as-yet-unknown process had caused D-2467-3 to undergo a form of catabolism breaking down tissue into a liquid state. Lack of other remains suggests that the resulting material was used for an unknown purpose on board SCP-2467. This concludes today's lecture. Thank you for listening, if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to Zargaran, Big Sip, Old Crap Guy, The Morrigan, James Saba, Irish Wristwatch, Lost Boy, Signar, Your Local Foundation Agent, Zazapan, Worthy Fire, Dr. Wolf 13, Cupster, Dean Dingus, that Loser, Cassadia Cams, Braided Peach, James Wright, Rowan O'Brien, Kegnack, Grimnir, Extra Moments 123, and Swift Raw. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash the Volgan. Thank you.